All right, we are moving on. There are some more difficult problems here. And then they actually have us do pretty easy ones when it comes to the uh, actual work. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I wrote a note up here that it says perpendicular. This mark right here means perpendicular. Lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. And we're going to need that not so much in the homework, but we're going to definitely need it doing this. So I'm going to show that we are going to, and it says draw the image of ABCs as a reflection across line L. So in order to be reflection, right, it has to be perpendicular. And they've shown this one as perpendicular, which is kind of nice. So to draw a perpendicular line, this slope, which and it looks like this slope is 1, right? This slope is 1, and this slope is negative 1. Those are opposites and reciprocals because 1 is reciprocal for itself. I'm going to show it a little more over here, though. So this one's kind of easy. They've got to be, so we draw a line segment with the end point at vertex A, right? so that the segment is perpendicular to line L and is bisected by line L. So if I go up and over 1, 2, I go past 1, 2, same distance. All right. If we repeat this, if I go up and over 1, I go past 1, and there would be B prime, right? Same distance, we can see that's perpendicular because the opposite reciprocal slopes. I'm going to do a little more on this B. From C, I go 1, 2 and a half. I go half, 1, 2. There is my new C prime and I get a triangle, right, that is reflected. That means these distances are the same as each other. We'll do three tick marks here, right? It means they're, they're parallel, I mean perpendicular there and there. They're parallel to each other, right? So how can you check that you drew the image correctly? Well, you know what? I could fold it, right? I could fold it and make sure they line up to each other, right? Or I could do this, right? I could, I could make sure line L is a perpendicular bisector. And what I mean by that is I can make sure that this is actually the midpoint of these two points, right? If this is the midpoint, if I, if I took this point up here, I did the midpoint. Let, let's do C and C prime. Oh, I can't because we have no ordered pairs. So I could also do the distance formula from here to here. I could check the distance and make sure from here to here is the same distance as this, which I can kind of see it is, right? So on this next one, let's start off by saying the slope of this line. This line goes up 1 over 2, so this slope is 1 half. So in order to be perpendicular, I'm going to have to slope of negative 2. All right. So this C is easy, right? This C is C prime on the other side. But I need a slope of negative 2 to be perpendicular to this line. So that means this B is going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. I did that twice, so I'm going to do it twice on the other side. Down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1 to right here, and that's going to be B prime. I'm going to do the same with A. Down 2 over 1 just once. Down 2 over 1. There is my A prime. And I now have right a line reflected. Again, if I knew if I drew these in, they'd be the same distance. And they would be perpendicular because we made it perpendicular. All right. How can you tell that line A to A prime is perpendicular? I'm going to say they have, let's write it, opposite reciprocal slopes. I'm going to keep going. This is a long one, but we're going to keep going. Draw this image reflected. So let's find the slope of this line. This line right here looks to be, let's find, there's a point here, and there's a point here. Down 2 over 1. This one has a negative 2 slope. That means our slope that's perpendicular is going to be positive 1 half. So I'm going to go down to left to right there. I'm going to go down to left to right there. I'm going to go down. Oh, that's down 1, sorry. Down 1, left. Watch, let me write this slope a little better. Instead of being positive 1, one let's write negative 1 over negative 2. Just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going down 1 and left 2. So here is A prime. I went down one to left two. I do it again. Down one to left two. There's A prime. C prime is down one left two. Down one left two for there. And look at this B. It's going to take a while. Down one left two. 
down one left two. So I have to go twice more. Down one left two, down one left two, and this will give me my B prime. And there it is, there's my reflection. All right, same triangle flipped over this line. Let's do this one right here. Again, we're gonna have to get the slope of this line. This line goes up one, two, three over one, so it has a slope of three. Perpendicular line would have a slope of negative one third. Or I could put the positive one on the bottom and the negative three. So let's try it that way for C, right? I'm gonna go up one and left, one, two, three. Up one and left, one, two, three, to get an equal distance on the other side, which is C. Let's try it with B now. Um, we're gonna go, well, let's go down one, down one and right, one, two, three. And down one and right, one, two, three. One, two, three, right there, there's B prime. All right. We're gonna do it with A, down one and right, one, two, three, down one and right, one, two, three, somewhere, well, let's see if I did that right. Down one right, one, two, three, down one right, one, two, three, there's my A. So if I connect it, it now looks like this, and we have A prime, B prime, C prime. All right, so look, here's our rules, and I realize we're doing a little bit here. They have rules and coordinate notation, and we're going to have to refer to this, so use this when you do your notes. To reflect across the x-axis, I keep everything the same, but y is negative. To reflect across the y-axis, x is negative, right? And I'm going to talk about this in class. To reflect across y equals x, all I do is switch y and x. To reflect across y equals negative x, I not only switch them, but I make the signs the opposite. All right. So I am going to show you with this, all right? So... We're gonna do these, I'm gonna do at least A, B, six and seven, and then we're gonna pause for maybe eight, and then we're gonna pause, and that's a lot of learning there. And we are a good amount of time into this. We're gonna to have to keep going here. State the coordinate rule, um, find the vertex of the image, and graph the pre-image, predict the quadrant and the image. So we're gonna go over Y axis, right? So Y axis is gonna take X, Y, right? and it's gonna change it into negative xy. That's off the notes on the other page, just looked right there. So m is one, two, there's m. n is one, four, there's n, right? I'm just reading right here. p is three, three, right here. This is p. And then m prime, right, is all it's gonna do is take that x and make it the opposite. It's gonna be negative one, two. Right, n prime is gonna be negative one, four. P prime is gonna be negative three, three. And we can see by changing the x, what I've actually done is I've jumped to the other side. Negative one, two, negative four, and negative three, three. Changing the x makes me move left and right. And I can see that I have flipped over this x-axis. So this another one says y equals x. So looking on my notes, I'm committing this to memory. Y, uh, x, y changed to y, x. We're reflecting across this line right here, y equals x. So let's go ahead and do it. We've got d is 2, 0, e is 2, 2, f is 5, 2, g is 5, 1, and we got something that looks like this. And so let's do it d prime, switches them, right? I've got 0, 2. E prime stays at 2, 2 because it's on that line, right? It's nowhere to reflect if it's on the line. F prime is 2, 5. And G prime is 1, 5. And watch, we're going to reflect over this line. So 2, 0 went to 0, 2. It's definitely a jump over. That would be D prime, right? This point here at um, 5, 1 goes to 1, 5. So here we go, 1, 5 is up here. And um, that was G prime. So this is G prime. All right, so we've got this one, this one, this one. I left out 2, 5, so F prime is now 2, 5. So here is, did I do a 5, 2? I did, 2, 5 is gonna be right here. And I'm gonna get a, a something that looks like this, and we can see it's a reflection, right? This is my new F prime right up here, reflected from F. D prime reflected from D, right? 
and we can see that E stays the same and G is out here and reflects over. All right. So all we do is switch X and Y's. This one says X equals, so we're going to get 7 and 8 here. All right. And um, then we're going to pause because it's kind of a long video already. Um, so I'm going to write the rule x, y. All right, we're going over the x axis, changes into x negative y. I'm going to say s prime, t prime, u prime, v prime. And the only thing that's going to happen is my y's are going to come the opposite because it's going over the x axis. So here we go. This turns into 3 instead of 4, it's negative 4. This turns into 3 instead of 1 is negative 1. This is negative 2 instead of 1 is negative 1. Negative 2, negative 4. So we'll draw the regular, regular one. Here's 3, 4. Here's 3, 1. Here's negative 2, 1. And here's negative 2, 4. It looks like this so far. I'm not going to label it just because time's running down. I won't be able to hit this video if it go over a couple more minutes. So it's going to go into... 3 negative 4, so this went to here. 3 negative 1. Um, oh, I, did, I went the wrong way. 3 negative 4 is, oh, you know what? I think this thing, did I draw that? 3 negative, oh, 3 negative 4 is down here. So 3 negative 4, 3 negative 1. Yeah, I am reflecting over the x. And then I get negative 2, 1 and negative 2, 4. And we can see by those new ones that it's a reflection over the x down to here. All right, one more, and I'm just going to write it real quick just because I need to have enough room to do this. x, y turns into negative y, negative x, and I am actually not going to plot these. You plot them because I'm not sure how much YouTube will take, and I'm getting close. So all I'm going to do is take x, y, negative 4, 2, switch them and change the sign, 2, 4. Negative 1, negative 1, switch them and change the sign, 1, 1. Negative 1, negative 4, switch them, 4, 1. And I have enough to graph it, so let's show this reflects over y equals x. All right. So 4, negative 2 is right here. All right. Negative 1, negative 1 is on it. Negative 1, negative 4 is here. And those are them. So if I plot it, it looks like this. This is 2, 4, which is here. Um, did I do that right? Oh, shoot. That was negative 4, negative 2. I drew it wrong. Well, I am going to pause and let you graph these better than I graph those right there. So graph them out because I want you to have that done when you come in and we will move on. I apologize for my poor graphing right there. I'll still see you tomorrow.